beer in the coconut and drink it all up. You put the beer in the coconut and throw the can away. Homer! You throw the can away. I said Homer! You throw the can away. Why did you want a beer? Was this not the awesomest thing you've ever heard in your entire life? Anyway, <laughs> I'm also and I'm continuing to cast some replays. This is Technix, the Bulgarian player, against Team Control, ZVZ. The first map is Fighting Spirit. Uh, and we see Technix is a Teal Zerg at the upper at the upper left corner of the map and in control the strong American player and I mean physically strong I don't guess him <laughs> uh, at the bottom left corner of the map as Bronze Zerg so uh, this guy, the big guy in control is already getting a little bit of an advantage by scouting in the correct direction well, Technics is not scouting in the correct direction. So, um, in control is in EG. He used to be in media before that. Um, he won WCG USA 2007. He got pretty popular with that uh, Ultimate Gamer show. He is also known as the Autolisk because he is a pretty big guy. <laughs> and that's funny because it that's pretty contrast to Technics. He's actually pretty damn skinny. <laughs> I know him. I mean life. We're both Bulgarian. We met at a few LAN tournaments recently. And now what do I have to say about him? He's um, he's kind of old school. In Bulgaria there was this one player, Lamer, or Lamar, as they called him in Italy, uh, who used to be, you know, really, really good. He used to help LRM quite a bit, and he won like five or at least four WCGs in Bulgaria in a row. He was really good and during his entire career Technics was the only one who could give him a good match pretty much the only Bulgarian that could. Um, so anyway I should get back to the game. Uh, this guy uh, Technics went for a 12 pull into fast layer and this guy in control went for a 12 hatchery. Now these builds are pretty good for in control, especially considering that Technics is putting down his putting down his second hatchery in the main. That's mostly because he hasn't scout in control. And if in control is going for nine pool speed or something, expanding to the natural would be very risky for Technics. Even though that's what you usually do it at 12 pool. But as I said, he's kind of an old school player, so that's not too surprising for me. Now, with these builds, in control we'll have a little bit of a larva advantage, and techniques will have a little bit of a tech advantage. So, we'll see how this unfolds. I have no idea why in control sending Zerlings here. Didn't he scout? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm completely sorry. It looks like in control didn't scout in this direction don't know why I thought he was scouting there you have to forgive me I have no experience <laughs> casting before 
this series of replays. Anyway, um, so yeah, pretty much in control took a little bit of a risk in the beginning and it paid off. Now, Technix has really good middle micro, at least against Terran he does. <laughs> And we see that in control went for speed and he naturally has less gas because of his build. S and this guy, Technics, didn't go for speed and he has a little bit more gas so he will have more mill discs but in control will catch up with the sec this second geyser. Well, I, I actually, it seems like that, it seems like uh, Technix has a really significant advantage right now. Really, it will, it will depend on whether the Scourge lands and overall how well in control cops with this, but it looks like it's not gonna be very good. <laughs> wow, Techni Technics just loot his base and kill them. Let's see some girls with micro. Yeah, that's Bulgarian micro for you. Yeah, that's right. Go, kill him, kill him. No, no, don't do that. Whatever. <laughs> well, it looks like this game ended quite. <laughs> early. I'm not sure what to say. In control obviously got a lot more links but he couldn't break up the ramp because uh, Technics was smart enough to not expand with his second hatchery. And even though he's getting quite a few drones he's pretty much dead because there's absolutely no way he's gonna be able to fight those metalisks. No matter nothing. Well, <laughs> that's about it. A pretty funny and strange game. I mean, I don't have too much experience in ZVZ, but I really <laughs> didn't expect anything like this to happen. Seeing as they both seen both of their build orders, but yeah, congratulations to Technics. That was pretty good. <laughs> well, GG. Let's move on to game two.